Now, you had a real one. You put yourself in a space of trilogy for real. Yeah. Now, although the outcome isn't what we, and I say we because mm. I'm a fan, yeah. what we wouldn't have wanted it to be, right now in boxing, where where are you at mentally? What is what is your vision? Is it something for you? Are you trying to prove something? Is there more that you want to do within the sport? Ah, uh, shoot. I mean, it's mixed feelings mm -hmm. with that with that question because ultimately, Kevin, I have accomplished my goal in this sport. Absolutely. I told my daughter when she was one years old that I'd be a champion. I'd be able to support her beyond her belief. Absolutely. And I've done that over, mm -hmm. you know. It's a lot of things that I've accomplished that I don't feel I have to, you know, uh, 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 prove to anyone because sure. I've already proved everything. But should I push forward, give it a go one more time, or should I just retire and focus on the other things that I already have, other things that I want to get into? Mm -hmm. Hey, step inside that booth, get loose, knock out a nigga tooth, man. It's your boy 503 Lime. Back at it again with another one, man. Much love to the almighty LDBC. Lions Den Boxing Community, man. This is the early morning hunt. Hot boxing topics, man. Let's get right to it, man. So you heard the clip. Deontay Wilder um, is considering retirement. He was on the um, Kevin Hart's uh, show. Um... You know where they sit in the ice tub and you know they talk shit and shit like that and um this was a good show this was a good show um i know a lot of people are you know what i'm saying skeptical about this statement um the shit is all over social media uh people don't really know how to feel about it but i'm gonna say this bro Deontay Wilder owes boxing nothing. He owes the fans nothing. He definitely don't owe the media a goddamn thing. Uh, Wilder came in the game late, was a late bloomer. He already accomplished what he wanted to accomplish. People got to understand, Wilder got into boxing for his, for his daughter. Nothing more, nothing, nothing else. Became a champion, earned money to help her with her, uh, you know, her her, her, her illness, and um, he definitely superseded his expectations. Um, and he will retire as a Hall of Famer. Um, he's tied the record with Muhammad Ali for title defenses. He has the highest knockout ratio in the sport of boxing he will go down probably as the best puncher hardest puncher the most ferocious puncher in boxing now um when you look at the current stance in heavyweight boxing you look at tyson fury Usyk, aj dillian white uh we know tyson fury just got uh mandated to fight dillian uh, we know Usyk and AJ are rematching. So the heavyweight landscape has transitioned to the United Kingdom and to Eastern Europe, specifically to Ukraine. Um, and that's a good thing because we need to highlight these other countries because America dominates sports and it's particularly boxing as well. So I'm happy to see these other countries uh Getting, getting some shine, getting some, getting some, um, some highlights, shall I say? Um, <clears throat> but I'm gonna tell you this, man. It's one person, one guy that's gonna come and make American heavyweight boxing great again. If Deontay Wilder does retire, and when he does retire, Jerry Big Baby Anderson will save American heavyweight boxing. He fights this weekend on the Lomachenko Richard Comey undercard. He is the co-main event. And I want you guys to tune in and watch this young kid from Toledo, Ohio, display a masterful, beautiful block boxing um, demo tape. This kid can do it all. He's the whole package when it comes to skill sets uh, in the ring. I'm not saying he will be as uh, big or as 
uh, big as popular as Deontay Wilder know. The you know they got two different type of personalities. Um, and Jerry Big Baby Anderson is still growing into into himself as a man, as an athlete, as a person. Um, and you know, he, you know he still got some growing up and maturing to do, homie. So no, he's not gonna be probably the next Deontay Wilder, but I do think he will be a heavyweight superstar American champion. That's what I think he will be. Um, he has a, a, a great system. He's a hard worker. He has a good team behind him. He has a, a legendary manager and Jay Prince. He has great coaches around him. Um, he has the work ethic. He has the discipline. He's focused. And I think this kid is going to be the goods, man. And um, I say I'll let to say this, man. Deontay Wilder owes the sport of boxing not a damn thing. Let Tyson Fury, let Usyk, let AJ, let Dillian White, let them guys have their shine. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, American Heavyweight Boxing will be back. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about this video, man. It's your boy 503 Line, man. Until next time, man, I'm up out of here, y'all. Peace. I'm still Adrian the problem, Bronner. The can man. Anybody can get it. Africans, I just beat the fuck out of a Mexican. Boy, just be yourself. If people don't like you if you're being yourself, fuck them. Message.